Hello, let's continue where we stopped earlier. Now we have successfully created the three LEDs, namely the red, the amber, and the green LED on the lab view front panel. Now I would like to switch over to the block diagram over here. Now in the block diagram, currently it is empty. I've just added a simple text on the block diagram here using the text tool. Now let me just uh, go to view. Uh, let's put the uh, tools palette okay, under the view tab. Okay, on the, um, let's mount it on the desktop here. Now, so currently we have the three uh, LEDs, red, amber, and the green. Now, what we need to do next is uh, maybe to help us better, I'm just going to toggle over back to the front panel. I'm just going to copy this text, the, which are the states anyway. These are the different states of our simple uh, kind of a simple machine here, simple uh, traffic light controller sequen in sequence programming. I'm just going to copy this text, go to edit copy and uh, just press Control e to switch myself back to the block diagram uh, go to edit and then paste oops sorry just gonna does it allow me to paste or oh, it doesn't let's do it again select uh, edit copy and paste ah, okay here we are so we now have the uh, the states just to uh, kind of guide us along when we do this programming. So what we do next is that uh, I'm going to right click on now this the uh, function palette. Huh? I'm going to go to structures. Okay, I'm going to use a uh, temporary um, what we call a sequence structure. Now there are two different types of uh, sequence structure. So I'm going to just going to choose this one for the time being. This is called the flat uh, sequence structure. All right, right click, it's flat sequence structure. Now, uh, there are two different types of uh, sequence structure that's available in lab view. So this is called a flat sequence structure, uh, okay, by default. Huh? So what do you do uh, if you use a flat sequence structure, if you right click on the, at the edge of the sequence frame, if you add a frame after, for example, over here, right, add frame after, you will notice that uh, you will add another frame as shown over here. But this is not what we want, right? We're going to use something called the uh, stack sequence structure instead of using a flat. Because if you use a flat sequence structure, then your program will be pretty long. Okay, so I'm going to uh, undo, press Ctrl Z. I'm going to undo the, the last two steps that I did. I'm going to right select the flat sequence structure. I'm going to right click on my mouse. I'm going to replace it with something called the stack sequence, uh, replace with stack sequence instead. Okay, replace with stack sequence. So this is what I'm going to do. Select, right click, replace with stack sequence. Now, I'm going to add uh, several frames to this program. So uh, again, selecting the stack sequence structure now, right click on your mouse. We're going to add frame after. Okay, so you notice that when I do that, I'm going to have two frames. I'm going to have frame zero over here. Okay, the, the, the selector label over here called uh, frame zero. And of course, you have another frame called frame one. So currently, these two frames are empty, right? So we need to put our codes inside the sequence frame. So to make it faster, I'm going to right click. I'm going to add a few more frames. I'm going to add two, I'm going to add one more time, three frames, I'm going to add again, add frame after, add four frames, right click, add frame after, five frames, I'm going to add one last one, add frame after, okay, add one more, so I want to add frame after, so now in total, I have a total of zero frame number to frame number six. Okay, 0 to 6, which means that I have a total of 7 frames altogether. So I'm going to go back to frame number 0. Okay, where I carry out my first part of my program. So I'm going to resize a bit bigger. I'm going to put these three uh, LEDs into the first frame uh, called frame number 0. Okay, I'm going to put these three there. 
Now earlier, if you remember, I mentioned that we have this thing called the uh, local variable, which is a replicate of these of these uh, LED objects. So let's do that first. Select the first uh, LED, the red LED. Uh, right click on your mouse. Go to create. Uh, look for this thing called the uh, local variable. Okay, local variable. But first of all, you have to select the object. Select the red LED. Right click, create. Okay, local variable. So I have one here. I'm going to do the same for the ember. So I'm going to select the uh, ember LED. Right click, create, local, variable. So I have second one and do the next one for the green LED. Select the green LED. Right click on the mouse, create, local, variable. So I'm going to place these three local variables outside here. Because I'm going to re I'm kind of using this space here like a work workspace. Uh. I'm going to just duplicate them later. So to begin, let's uh, get your wiring tool. Okay, let's put the tools palette nearby. Get the uh, wiring tool over here. If you've forgotten, the wiring tool. Bring the wiring tool to the input of the red LED, as shown over here. Uh, right click on your mouse. Okay, create a constant. Okay, create a constant as shown. So the default uh, Boolean constant will be true. So we, uh, so not that's not a problem. Okay, I'm going to hover my mouse over to the finger tool over here or the position, uh, the value tool here. Select this operator value tool. Click the finger tool or the operator value tool to the at the Boolean here. So change it to false. All right, change it. You can you notice that you can change it to true or false, but I want false in this case. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to put this false value here, and I'm going to wire the ember, uh, wire the false value to the ember as well as to the input of the green LED has shown over here. So I've basically completed the first part, first frame, frame zero, right? So, uh, so maybe it's a good time also to label. It's always a good practice to label your uh, block diagram. So I'm going to use the uh, edit the text tool. Put the text tool over here, and I'm just going to call it the uh, label. Call it all off. Select the object. You can go to the fonts there. You can increase the size. Maybe let's put it to 18, or maybe slightly bigger will be better. Let's put it to 36 then. Okay. So we have the first one called all off. So this is the first K, first frame. Uh. So what happens when LabVIEW uh, executes the program, he was going to uh, put the three LEDs to uh, off mode. Uh. Okay, so perhaps what we can do also do is to make a copy of this label and put it outside. Right, so that we can just use it later. Now let's navigate to the first, uh, the next frame. Uh. So frame number one. So what do we do here? After we switched off the three LEDs, uh, I'm going to make a copy. Yeah? So what you can do is to select uh, these three objects. Uh, I think press the control key on your keyboard, left click on your mouse and drag. Yeah, you notice that I can easily duplicate the objects. Okay, which is this in this case, the three local variables that I want, right? So uh, technically, you don't have to put all there. For the first frame number one because the second this particular frame number one which is the second frame we are just going to switch on the green on remember green on so maybe i can uh, maybe uh, remove this too i'm just going to take the uh, green uh, local variable uh, use the wiring tool and bring the wiring into the input of this local variable right click on my mouse Create a constant. So the first LED, which is the green LED, will be switched on, as shown, right? Because we have uh, put a true constant to this. So it will be turned on. So let's proceed to the next frame, uh, the, the frame number two. Now in this frame, we are going to delay, right? As we can see over here, eh? we are going to really turn on the green LED. We are going to delay on green, eh? as we can see over here. So what we do is that we are going to right click on my function palette, get the timing palette, get the wait millisecond delay, and going to put this wait millisecond delay in the frame here. 
Now, maybe it's also a good thing to just take a copy, make a copy of this uh, wait millisecond and put it at the workspace above it as shown. Now, I would like to uh, then uh, press the spacebar key on your keyboard. Okay, let's right click on your mouse because we are now in the wiring tool. We're going to create a constant. Okay, I'm going to put uh, uh, 2000. Okay, I'm going to put uh, 2000. So for 2000 millisecond would imply it is uh, 2 seconds. Huh? So I'm going to put a delay for 2 seconds. Alright, then I think it's a good time to proceed to the next frame. In frame number 3. Okay, uh, after I delay on green, I'm going to do uh, the green off and switch on the amber as well, right? Oops, something that we forgot, huh? we should uh, kind of put the label as well. So let me just pull this uh, text label over here, holding on to my control key. And uh, let's label this. Eh? So this is a uh, tool. This one should be something called the uh, green on, right? Okay, so this is green on. And uh, make a copy here and proceed to the next one. Now this one, just going to bring it in and call this number 3. Okay, so I think it's pretty obvious. This is number 3 and it is uh, uh, green uh, delay, right? Delay on green. So this is called uh, delay on green. Right? Okay. Delay on green. So maybe can uh, kind of make a copy of this text outside. Uh. Now notice that I do a lot of uh, control uh, drag uh, and also copy. Yeah, so it helps a lot in your to save a lot of time in your programming. So now, so what are we? Where are we now? We have turned on the going back to this one. Green on. Delay on green. Okay. The next state would be to uh, let's put this thing here. Okay, so this one should be number four, right? Where we switch off the green. So it's going to be, uh, hold on a second. Uh, green off, right? Uh, and amber on. Amber on. Okay. So how do we program that, this part here? So same thing, we're going to pull the uh, local variable at the top. Press the control key and drag. I'm going to pull the green in as well as I'm going to select this amber. Press onto your control key on your keyboard. Left click and drag. Huh? Okay, so I have the green off. I'm going to right click, create a constant. So use the selector value, the force, and this one right click, create a constant which is true. Okay, so now we have. Uh, the green off amber on then we will proceed to the next state okay we will proceed to the next state which is uh, this state here so just put this label here so this one should be number five where we delay on amber we will uh, delay oops, delay on Amber. Okay, so what we can do is that uh, we can go back to the second frame there, do a copy and paste. Since this is the uh, wait millisecond delay, we can just pull one of these here and uh, delay on amber. Just going to bring this into the picture, into the frame. Right, going to delete this one. Okay, so you have delay on amber. So I'm going to wait for two seconds before proceeding to the next frame, which is, uh, let me bring one of these out. The next frame here, okay, will be um, number six, right? Where we will switch off the amber. So it's going to be amber off and uh, red on. Okay. So what do we do is that uh, we will pull the copy of the local variable, the red and the amber, into the frame here. So uh, right click, create a constant. So the, the red will be 
on which is true and the amber will be off so create a constant and set this thing to false all right we're almost there okay and then finally we have the last frame which is delay on rate okay let's pull this thing this text label in and call this number seven and uh, this one will be called a uh, delay on rate okay delay on rate i'm going to pull this uh in time with uh, wait millisecond into the frame and since this is the last frame i'm done so let's quickly check but uh maybe before that let's delete away this excess uh, local variables which are not needed these three local variables so select and delete it off and uh, let's have a look so it's all off okay we just do a check all off green on right so we send a boolean true to turn on the green led the local variable then we introduce a delay delay on green so we're going to delay for two seconds then we proceed to uh, green off amber on right green off amber on which is correct then the we will go delay on amber which uh, another two seconds of the delay then we'll do the amber off rate on yes which is correct over here as you can see and uh, finally delay on rate so this program sh is completed so if we were to toggle over to the uh, left view front panel we can just click on the run button and see how it behaves right so we have green amber and red and the program should stop yes okay so we have completed the a very simple uh, traffic light controller using a very simple sequence programming has shown in this video recording thanks for watching